Hello everybody, it's Simon. I just thought I'd share this with you. Um, this is the birth of a new $10 heli. This is my uh, third $10 heli build. Um, it's the Leader's Hobby Kit. And uh, yeah, it's gone together pretty well. Um, most of the electronics and quite a lot of the parts actually are salvaged from the crashed one, which uh, we were investigating the other day, but yeah, let's, let's just take a little look at it. And there we go. So it's got the uh, Turnergy Plush 40 amp uh, electronic speed controller. That's the new version with the great soft start. Um, E-Sky EK5 treble zero six three thousand eight hundred kilovolt motor which is a beautifully smooth motor the uh, Hobby King uh, 939 Metal Gear servos and a Corona DS919 MG tail servo uh, that's just a temporary addition until a, a better one comes into stock at Hobby King uh, just under there I don't know whether you can see it that's the Leaders Hobby GY uh, 520 uh, MEMS gyro uh, right at the bottom there's an orange uh, spectrum type receiver and just under the tail boom block here there's the uh, satellite so yeah uh, all up weight is uh, with canopy but without battery is um, 590 grams and I'm going to try out these uh, 3D Pro, no sorry, Pro 3D carbon fibre blades. Um, the uh, milk jug is just a temporary thing until uh, it gets a nice black canopy from uh, Hobby King. Uh, points to note, what we got to say, the skids aren't the ones out of the kit. Um, they were salvaged for my uh, other $10 heli, which is taking a nap down here. Um, yeah, so uh, these are the Leaders Hobby Pro skids, all black. They cost about a dollar or something, and they, they go together great. Quite easy to assemble, nice and loose in the uh, pipes going through the uh, arms. So, um, yeah, a little CA glue needed, but I'd rather they were, they were loose and I can glue them than having to spend 15 minutes battling with them. Um, yeah, there's only one little gripe I have with this kit, and I don't know whether you can see it here. Let me just grab a pen. The uh, elevator servo is, I don't know, perhaps three millimetres the hole in the frame is perhaps three millimetres too far towards the main shaft. Can you see, look, the uh, arm isn't perfectly vertical, which you would prefer, like uh, the um, pitch and uh, aileron servos are a lot better at the front. So, yeah, I'd just rather that the hole was a little bit further away from the main shaft so I can get that servo vertical. But that's that's really my own gripe, only gripe with it. Um, okay, it's been through the coin mill and it's been cheapened quite a lot. The uh, head and tail has uh, brass bushings rather than ball bearings. I've, I've swapped all those out because I've got loads of ball bearings now in my uh, bag of parts. But uh, yeah, it's gone together okay. Looking forward to fly. All I've got left to do now is the finer points of the uh, collective pitch setup, uh, getting zero at mid sticks and get setting the uh, range, pitch range, and the blade deflections. But other than that, she's about ready. Okay then. Thanks for watching all. Bye for now.